Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be finding the value of tangent 63 degrees. And the answer is going to be in radicals. We're not interested in finding it using a calculator, but we're going to be working it out algebraically. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I, I'm supposed to find tangent 63 degrees. And actually, initially, this problem was designed differently. I'll talk about that a little later. So to find this, let's go ahead and call this expression x. As you know, a lot of times, x is the unknown. And we're going to go from there. So by using 63 degrees, I can basically double it and find the value of tangent 126 degrees from here. By the way, from now on, I'm not going to write the degree symbol, but the, all the angles are going to be in degrees. Using the double angle formula for tangent alpha or 2 alpha, we can safely say that tangent 126 degrees equals 2x divided by 1 minus x squared. Now, one thing that's interesting about this problem is that how can we find tangent 63 degrees directly, right? It's going to be real hard. And by the way, there are some problems that involve, um, you know, tangent 63 in them, but I don't think anybody has done this problem on YouTube before, like individually finding the value of tangent 63. So this is a first. Anyways, so now by doubling it, I got to 126. And notice that 126 can be written as 90 plus 36. Okay, great. Now this allows us to actually consider something. 126 is an obtuse angle, but 36 is an acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees. So, and considering the fact that tangent 90 plus alpha, and alpha doesn't have to be an acute angle, but you can just think of it as an acute angle, can be written as negative cotangent alpha, because you have an angle in the first quadrant, let's say, you add 90 to it, Basically, that's going to switch the values of tangent and cotangent. It's also going to make it negative because in the second quadrant, tangent and cotangent are both negative. But in this case, we're looking at tangent, of course. Great. So this is going to give us negative cotangent 36 degrees, which is equal to 2x divided by 1 minus x squared. Now, remember, tangent 63 degrees is equal to x, so we're looking for x. Great. Let's just go ahead and manipulate this expression as much as we can. But here's the thing. What is cotangent 36? Great. Well, cotangent 36 can be written as 1 over tangent 36. So this expression can be written as negative 1 over tangent 36 equals 2x over 1 minus x squared. So here's what I would like to do. I'd like to flip both sides and negate. So from here, I can get tangent 36 degrees as x squared minus 1 divided by 2x. So basically this comes down to finding the value of tangent 36 and then setting up an equation to solve for x. But guess what? You can easily find the value of tangent 36. There's a long process uh, which you can use or maybe you already memorized it. But here's the thing. Here's a video that you can take a look at for the values of tangent 36. So. I'm going to point you to that video. You can go ahead and take a look at it. If you're interested in how to find it, uh, there's a video by James Elliott right here, which you can watch to find out how he found the value of tangent 36. But I'm just going to give it to you. So tangent 36 degrees is equal to the square root of 5 minus 2 root 5. In that video, you can basically uh, find how it's done. Okay, so since tangent 36 is equal to that, and I know that it's equal to this expression, I can just go ahead and set my algebraic expression equal to that. Since I know the value of tangent 36, I can solve for x from here. Let's go ahead and do the math. x squared minus 1 can be written as 2 times the square root of 5 minus 2 root 5 multiplied by x. And now putting everything on the same side, making it a quadratic, which is not, you know, the coefficients aren't very nice, but don't worry, it's going to simplify nicely. Okay. This is my quadratic equation, and as you can see from, you know, the constant term and by using the Viata's formulas, the product of the roots is negative, which means that one of the roots is going to be, or one of the solutions is a positive, and the other one is going to be negative, which means we're going to discard the negative solution because x needs to be positive. Why? Because x equals tangent 63 degrees. 
Great. Let's go ahead and find the roots of this equation by using the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula gives us the following. We can safely say that it's negative b plus minus the square root of b squared. Now, when you square the b, you're going to get the following. Minus 4ac, but there's a negative sign here, so it's going to become plus 4. All over 2. Great. Now, what's inside the parentheses? If you distribute, or if you take out a 4, you're going to get the following. The square root of 4 is going to be 2, so I can take it out like this. Inside, you're going to have 6 minus 2 root 5, which is fairly interesting. I'll tell you how to simplify that in a little bit. Great. Now, notice that this gives us two solutions. And also consider the fact that we can factor the numerator and then cross out the twos. So this gives us two solutions. X is, from here, X can be written as 5 minus square root of 5 minus 2 root 5 plus minus the square root of 6 minus 2 root 5. And from here, I can safely say that tangent 63 degrees is either this Oops, I keep forgetting the 2. Or this. So we get two values for tangent 63, but notice that this one gives us a negative answer. Right, because the square root of 6 minus 2 root 5 is obviously greater. So we're going to go with the second solution, which is positive, and we can simplify this. Notice that this is equivalent to square root of 5 minus square root of 1, which is 1, squared inside the radical, and when I square root it, I can just write it as square root of 5 minus 1. And that is going to be the value of tangent 63 as a radical, which is interesting because we can find actually the exact value. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things before we leave. Here's one, tangent 36. You can safely see that it is equivalent actually to square root of 5 minus 2 root 5. And the value of tangent 63 as found here in the calculator is the square root of 5 minus 2 root 5 plus root 5 minus 1. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.